My name is Kevin. I'm a business owner and I do video production and I give QuickBooks a five out of five. So I considered uh, lots of different free options like um, Excel, Google Sheets, um, but I found that QuickBooks was just the easier option for me and it integrated with lots of different types of softwares that I've used already um, for my personal accounts and I've found it easy to transition to business accounts. So I chose QuickBooks because it, again, it just integrated with my um, company software really easily. I, I found it that I could um, just kind of pick it up and go. I'm not a professional accountant, but it makes me feel like I can send that information to my professional accountant in a professional way, track everything, invoice everything very professional, which is important for me in my business. So it was very easy to integrate um, QuickBooks with pretty much everything already. I use it personally and I have a couple of their apps already. So I already was familiar with how their software was kind of already um, laid out. So I just integrated and transferred things over through a couple different types of methods, file transfer, and I just did some things manually as well. But it was very easy and it was easy to categorize everything in the way I liked it and customize it the way I wanted it. So if you're anything like me, I do lots of things for free because it's kind of hard to make ends meet with businesses. So it's it's nice to have a paid subscription and see all the benefits from that. So if you're thinking about using the software, know that there is a monthly fee. Um, that is something that I, I didn't um, know and initialize right when I first got the software. So just know that. And I also would recommend that if you have other software that that is kind of involved with QuickBooks, you like um, there's Mint and other things that you could also make it a little confused with how it integrates with your personal and business. So keeping it separate is very key.